Hello everybody, what's going on? How are you all today? I hope you all are doing good. We are going to be playing pinball today. So, getting everything set up, making sure everything's good before we start. Yep, okay, so let me share this out, let me tweet. I still can't get over that uh, everybody has stories now on their app. I'm, I am shocked to see that. Okay, so let's see. Shelly. Okay, so I hope you all are good. We're gonna start the shindig. Let's see if anybody's in the chat. Yo, Filippo, what's going on? How are you? I am good. I'm good, good, good. Frankenstein! Frankenstein! So. I don't think I ever played this in the real arcade, to be honest. I don't remember ever having this at an arcade. points this one gives it back to you Live again. like you did so Extra horrible they were just gonna give it back to you yes! hey my name who am i i hey mystery i hey i'm back in the ice cave That trick shot. Oh. Hope you're all doing good. I don't know. Um, this is like the first time I've played this game. So 
I don't know all the trick shots where to go. We're just gonna play some pinball today and chill. I'll see if I can master. Oh, okay, so I got the final gray. score. Oh. Uh, wow. That's a lot. <laughs> so we'll try again. I wanna see all the tricks the heck of Steven and all the tricks. There we go. Finally got that one. So that one is automatically gives it back to the player. That one is not. That one doesn't give it back. This is an interesting pinball. I would have loved to see this pinball at an arcade and see the Frankenstein actually moving. It's kind of like the Freddy Krueger one. Um, or uh, the Popeye one. That one had a mechanical person like moving around that would have been fun to see why is this one i don't know if anybody knows is this one rare oh. i don't even think the pinball hall of fame over here that we have had this one is one of those that just like makes me not want to be talking to people that I and I'm being real, most of the people that are on my Facebook list were people that I didn't really talk to. It's alive. So I was like, why am I talking to people? And it, it got worse when the when the race was going on for anything. So I was like, oh man. So I kinda just left Facebook alone. I haven't been on Facebook in months. Elizabeth? I just keep it for like, in case somebody does want to talk to me, and like, I don't have their phone number anymore, but even then, I like, stopped doing that. So I was like, I don't even have it. <laughs> I'm not ready! Oh, so it doesn't save all the time. Okay. Why? Was it the administrator person who was running that page? Most people are very sensitive on that for no reason. I just tell them to leave me alone. Oh, so okay. is this the first time it saves it? Stony. That's a new one. Elizabeth? Did I 
Oh, twice. Back to back. Okay. Ah, third time. Elizabeth! Oh, four. Did I spell Frankenstein? Creature. Future, shoot the ramp for 20 million. And watch now, I'm not gonna shoot the ramp. Did all that work? It oh, so I did it again, so it's twice. the time to like any and for me say somebody says something stupid to me like something that is is you know like oh you're so sensitive oh. like all the time I hear that you know you're too sensitive and I'm like I'm not sensitive I just don't deal with crap anymore like before I used to just let stuff go and not say anything to anybody and now I just I don't I don't play with that. Like don't don't make jokes about me and my channel. If you're supposed to be a friend of mine, like I don't mind jabs at me as far as like when it comes to like oh you it's messed up on that video game, party har har har. You know, and then like show me how to play the game and beat it's the game. Alive. That's fine. But when you like when you're comparing my channel to your channel, which is completely different from another person's channel, my channel is not like anybody else's channel. Because Nobody else is me. Just because I talk about video games doesn't mean that anybody else has the same channel as me. We're all unique in our own way, and to compare my video game collection, which I don't collect, I just play video games, to other people's collections, it's a weird thing that people do. I don't get it. I'm like, you guys have different video games to me, different tastes to me. And I! It's like, who cares? And, and I will give people credit, like, if you make me laugh, I'll go, okay, that's cool. But, I just don't like the comparing, like, oh, I don't know how she has this many subs, I don't know how this person has this many subs, who cares? Nobody cares. Yeah. You got so many subs, good for you, I'm glad, I'm happy for you. But, we don't need to be like, well, how did she get so many subs, let's investigate, let's figure it out, it's like, Get over yourself and shut. One sec, my phone is about to lose power. I didn't realize. So how are you all uh, level one online? What's going on with you today? You're doing good. Mark is 
Try to get the high score. Right, What's up, Chris James? What are you making today? How are the little little boys? And, and, uh, how is your South Dakota? What are they doing on Minecraft today? What are they making? Hey, my name, Geneva. Yeah, level one online. You got some funny humor, though. I will say. I'm not about the drama, I'll be real. I don't comment on drama videos because it's just not my thing. I don't, I don't choose sides, I don't take drama. I will say some people in the community are stupid for some reason or another, not gonna name names, but I'm just like, I can't with that. What? Oh, dude, enjoy the time when they're sleeping. That'd be a fun time. Alive. She's dead. Oh, I didn't save it. Yeah, I figured I didn't have any bad words. It probably just made somebody very sensitive to whatever happened. Because, uh, being real, people all the time feel like they need to give you life tips on like what you're doing wrong being real i don't need life tips from somebody i've never met before in my life who doesn't know what's going on with me or sometimes it's like why are you here what are you doing do you even know what you're doing it's like i don't really care <laughs> Oh, I don't hate the drama. I find it just like eh. I'm just like, oh great, who's who's fighting today? Like I wake up every morning and I'm like, let me check my feed and let's see what the drama is today. And I'll see like a feed of like so many videos from somebody. I'm like, what did that person do today? What happened now? And it's like, it's, it's gotten to the point where like, I'm like, every day, I'm like, really? Every day? Wow. And I don't even care if somebody puts me in the drama. I don't respond, because it's just not my thing. Like, I don't have time for that. I got real life drama. No offense to anybody who finds, you know, drama in YouTube, like, real life. You can shut off your YouTube feed and walk away. Like, real life drama, I got stuff going on that I don't want to talk about, but I got real life drama that I don't need to add any fake drama in my life, you know? And mind you, like, I don't mind, you know, ranting about something, but I don't rant about people. Because they don't deserve my headspace. People who are, like, annoying or, or disrespectful to me or anybody in the community that I show with, they don't deserve my headspace. They don't, so I don't talk about them. And actually that works better, because then the algorithm hates them because you don't talk about them or bring them up. They don't get anywhere. Ah.
<laughs> We're not gonna discuss that one. Oh, my Atlanta. Oh, what's my favorite fancy meal? What are we talking price range? Because Vegas has some tons of, like, expensive fancy meals. Oh, snap. That's a cool screen, like, uh, like scenario, whatever that was. Donculus. They have like $50 plates. I would just love to go in there and be like, yo, give me some food. I would love like a plate of food where there's like a teeny tiny portion of food in the middle and you, you gotta daintily eat it and you gotta make sure, you know, enjoy your $50 worth of crap that it's not gonna fill you up. Because <laughs> I ate there one time. We didn't know the price. Then this is before we moved here to, to Nevada. And I remember, I was like, oh, I want to go there for my birthday. And I took my family and some of Reggie's family went. And next thing I know, I look at the prices and I'm like, oh, snap. Good thing we had some money. I had my birthday money, man. Because I just used up my birthday money. I felt bad. I was like, we shared a plate. And I could see the waitress looking at us with contempt. She was so mad that we were sharing food. I was like, what's it to you? We're Mexican. We share food anywhere. I don't care where we are. You know, we bought like the like family style plate that they consider like a like a normal portion. I was like, we're gonna get like a lot of rice. So we ordered a lot of rice and we just like shared the meat and whatever it was, and I was just like, uh, no lady, do not stare at me. And they didn't even want me to bring in a cake, which I understand the food poisoning, you know, thing. But we snuck it in anyway. <laughs> we gave the waitress a good tip. We're like, here, just because you didn't say anything, you let me have my cake. She got, she got happy after she got a good tip. Because we all shipped, we all chipped in like, five bucks. And it was, it was like a plate, like a, a table of like, twelve. So, we, we were like, okay, there you go, there you go, thank you. Even though you stared at us and made us feel like we were didn't deserve to be here. But okay. Oh. Ah. Save the, save the life. Oh, okay, bye Aaron. have a good one. It was a pleasure having you in my chat for as long as you could be here. So, stay safe. Give them the witty comebacks. Tell them all to screw off. Oh, that was horrible. Yeah, it wasn't even a buffet. Either. It wasn't even a buffet. They didn't even have the option for a buffet. <laughs> it was one of those, um, what you call it. Uh, like, I'm so fancy. We don't need a buffet. I had a good time with that. But but I don't mind anything you can afford that if you go there, you know? It's a lie. Cool with that. Yeah, there's a lot of good places here that have buffets, but the sad part is because of everything going on right now, there are clothes most of them. Or they don't let you go get your own food. They like go, okay here, welcome. Uh you have to like let us know when you want another plate and then tell me. And I'm like, dang man, seriously. So yeah, they don't let you 
just go up there and get her whatever you want. You have to like tell the waitress, which is she's overwhelmed or he's overwhelmed because they have like 20 tables that they're running because they're not used to this situation that's going on. And they call everybody like, hey, please let me know. So you have to like figure out a system to like let the, the waiter or waitress know. You're like, yo, I need to go get some food. And so then they serve you or they uh, let, it's like a limit of how many people expect to go up at a time. So they'll look at the front, oh my gosh. They'll look at the front and they'll, uh, they'll tell you, be like, okay, uh, there's five people up there you can go. Uh, what section are you going to go to? Please stick to that section. And then when you see the people move, you can move. And I'm like, okay. So it's pretty much not what it used to be like a buffet. I'm not eat. ready! There are still restaurants and casinos that are doing cheap food. So that's good. I mean, you can go get yourself a steak dinner for like 10 bucks or less depending on the place, and some of them are still 50 So it's not bad. Be real, it's not bad at all. It's a good thing. Yo, Edwin, what's up, dude? Whoa, where did that happen? I wasn't paying attention. Where did that show up? Whoa, that's there me for a loop, man. What was that? Where did that come from? Is that an extra ball? I'm confused, bro. What, what happened? Okay, so we did worse. Bye, Aaron. Oh, tell your pets I said hello. Hope they are good. So what's up, Edwin? Are you working and lurking right now, bro? Where is that level one online, though? Is that here? Yeah, I'm so bummed. Like, there's some good restaurants that, like, I don't know what happened. Like, they just, like, I, I went to go get their food one day and they were gone. I was like, I don't know. Like, there's some good, like, high places here that I try to eat, like, as much as I can. Because they give me good value for food, man. They give you, like, I got some chicken curry. Like, mom, I got yellow curry. restaurant, I forgot the name. Ah, oh, dude, come on. Oh, snap, working and lurking. Oh, yeah. And, uh, shoot, like, there's so many restaurants that are, that are gone also, that they, they change their hours, they can handle it. And then they're saying that they're gonna go back to phase one for us. If, if the governor had said, if we didn't act, stop acting stupid, we were going to go back to phase one. And I was like, dang, man, I don't want to go back. So all the stuff is gone again in the store. I'm just like, ah, oh, I can't win. Yeah, we're talking about food, bro. Uh, we're, he asked me, uh, like, a random question of, like, what is, like, your go-to meal and then like what is like a meal that you would wish you could go eat like, like a really expensive meal at a restaurant that you've never been to and you wish you could afford like to go like splurge and go crazy i i uh, said that there's like a asian restaurant in uh luxor i think it is and uh basically their their food plates go from like minimum 15 dollars all the way up to like 50 bucks and uh i'm getting not good. <laughs> and, uh, I remember, what was it, uh, it was my birthday, and I didn't realize how expensive they were. So, I had to use my, dang it, I had to use my birthday money to, uh, pretty much just pay for meals for some of my family members. Mm -hmm. You're hungry? I'm hungry, too, for food. As we up, down, up, down, to wrap up our sea legs for food. Oh, yes. Yo, Edwin. Um. I hate. Were you in, um. Were you in, uh, in Genius's chat when we were talking about what happened to Melody and Dizzy? Oh, 
Thank you. Whoa, that one saved that one. Oh, my dogs are awake. Oh, dude, that was bad. You want Denny's? Or do you want a Denny's? I haven't been there in forever, bro. Now that I have, like, an abundance of food to choose from, like, I haven't been to Denny's in, like, a good hot minute. So it's, like, one of those, like, well, when I used to go to, this, I had a small town, we only had, like, tons and tons of Mexican restaurants everywhere, and maybe, like, one or two American restaurants, and maybe, if we're lucky, an Asian restaurant of some kind. <sighs> okay, so, Edwin. Basically, some mother trucker decided to be an asshole and take down Melody's channel and, like, court spam the crap out of her. And Dizzy was trying to fix the audio, so he told Melody, he's like, Melody, chill there for a second and play a video game with me. You know, like, so we can get the chat going because her mic wasn't working. We couldn't figure out what the mic was wrong with it. Like, we didn't know if OBS was messing up or whatever. And so, he had to restart the stream, and he realized that he had a Bluetooth uh, device hooked up, and he's like, okay, we're gonna start the stream again. As he starts the stream again, not even 15 minutes in, bro, she's playing Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and it just shuts off. And I'm like, what the hell happened? And then, and then somebody um, from YouTube put, uh, channel is in violation of uh, whatever guidelines, they no longer are allowed to be on YouTube, and they got taken down. And I was like, oh, the little butthurt people in this world can't even let Melody play the game until Disney comes back onto the camera. They had to report her and say that she doesn't deserve to be on YouTube. Really? Really? What is she doing that's hurting somebody? Nobody. Playing a game. So... I tweeted about that, and I was like, yo, Dizzy and Jojo were in the background, and they were, you could, you could see in the chat, they were talking in the background, like, is the mic good, is, is everything good, and they were trying to figure out everything out, and you could see Dizzy, like, his arm and everything in the background, like, trying to get everything set up, and he was like, yeah, Melody, what are you playing, and Jojo was talking in the chat, like, hey, Melody, what's this part about, you know, like, because Jojo doesn't like to be on the stream, so I understand that, so Jojo would be like, Hey Melody, move your chair back, and I'm, you know, like, trying to not, like, mess with the stream. And waiting for Dizzy, and before Dizzy could even, like, make sure everything was set up, it just shut off. I was like, those little turds, man. Everybody gotta be messing with people. Gotta report spam to get that person off. I was just pissed. I was so pissed. I like messaged Dizzy right away. I was like, Dizzy, yo, what happened? Did somebody take you down? What's going on? And, uh, because I never, I never see that message unless somebody reports spam the crap out of that person. And then, like, YouTube came in and, like, said, no, you're done. So I was like, man, what the hell, YouTube? You know, she's, she's on there with her dad. She's not by herself. You know, she has permission with her dad to be there. And I see plenty of other channels with kids that are under 13 in the freaking YouTube channels by themselves unboxing stuff and their parents are making tons of money off of them. And YouTube doesn't say anything about that. And they have Nickelodeon merch. So I'm like, what is what is wrong with it? She's she's not selling it to anybody. No kids whatsoever. Hey Omar, what's going on? Hey Ingeniuses, what's up, dude? Melody's Playroom, Dizzy. Um, I don't even think did they link? Did they link? Um, the chat in chat. Did they link uh, Melody's Playroom with Dizzy? I don't remember if they had their channels linked together. 
But it's Dizzy um, and Melody's Playroom. I'm not ready! And so I am trying to fight to make sure that she doesn't lose her channel because if um, if YouTube feels like it, they can just take your channel down. So it's like, hey, man. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It depends on the staff member, bro. It really does. It depends on the staff member. Some staff member could come in and be like, oh, I see the parent in the background. I'm gonna let it go. And then another staff member can come in and be like, how dare they? Oh my gosh. Oh, we need to, we need to stand up right now. YouTube is such a, oh, I don't know who I'm gonna get when I get a review. It's not good. I don't know how many times I've like gotten claims for copyrights and I didn't know who did it. I can't go talk to them and be like, yo, this is my cousin's music or this is somebody else's music. Elizabeth? And like, I don't care. Okay, I don't care when Nintendo flags me or Disney flags me because, hey, my song is so close to their song, I let it go. But when. It's a known false claim, or somebody said that that's their music, I'm like, who cares what you think? If YouTube doesn't, oh crap, if YouTube doesn't like it, then they will just be like, nah, you don't get, you don't get to do that. It's not. I'm like, hey man, I didn't do jack squats to anybody. I just made a cover or a parody of a song, and now I get a strike. Which I haven't gotten a strike. I, 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 anything that I had, I appealed. But I lost the appeals most of the time, and then they just claimed it. So they said, okay, if you want to keep the video up, it's going to get a uh, no recommended feed, and then it's just going to be, they're going to take the ad revenue. So any ads I have on my channel are not mine. Because uh, I didn't want to do the partner program, and then when I did want to do the partner program, they said I lost the hours, and I was like, I was just under, bro. Just under. And I've been up on the 4,000 views for like... Oh, this time no, because I was just under 3,800 and something minute, whatever crap. What did he do? And I was like, well, if I get it again, I'm not gonna go for it because I just saw their new change in terms of service. So if they want to put an ad on your video, they can. They don't care, and they don't well, give you the ad revenue for it. So all the ones that are yellow. Those are theirs. <laughs> oh well, YouTube, you're hilarious. Elizabeth? Oh crap. Well, Dizzy's channel didn't get flagged. They alternate between Dizzy and Melody's channel. And so, um, they were going back and forth. And I told him, I was like, yo, bro, don't, don't stream on her channel until you guys get a response back because they can give you strike after strike and mess with you. So, they, uh, they heard me and they're not gonna, they're gonna do it on his channel. And I was like, okay, make sure. Yeah. And I said, if you have to integrate, uh, the channels together to where Melody's channel is your channel shared with you for a minute until she turns 13, then I would do that. I hate mystery. So we'll see what happens with that. Hopefully it's not so bad. We'll see. I just hate when they mess with people. Oh, Edwin, um, Ingeniouses. Dang it. It's oh, it saved it. Oh, snap. Wow. Again, it it's saved alive. it. I didn't even think I was going to do that. Ha! No! <laughs> it was short-lived. Have you guys seen this game? Have you, uh, have you seen this pinball? On, uh, any of the arcades? I've never had the pleasure of playing this one. Don't worry, or level one online. Have you played this one? Gotten to see this in arcade. Elizabeth! Victor! Victor! It's alive. 
No? Not at all? <laughs> I'm not the only one. I could always like, I've never seen this out in the wild when I go to arcades. I was like, maybe it's a rare pinball or like an uncommon pinball machine. Like not many people ordered this one. Oh, but everybody ordered South Park. I saw South Park everywhere because it cost. <laughs> So everybody had that in the back, <laughs> chilling at a wall because they got a bunch of money for it. Because all the kids were like, <laughs> he's dead, he's dead. Yeah, yeah, there's a pinball that cusses. Get over it, kids. What is up, dude? What's going on? Oh, you seen it in the museum? Oh, okay, okay. What was the museum called? Hey, son, bro. Uh, it is the official Platinum Sony headset. I got this uh, when Last of Us Part 2 was out because I didn't want any colorful headsets. No pretty, pretty pink pastels for me. I wanted gray so I didn't match anything that I wore. It's alive. Dude, really? Sweet, what's up? That's it. Welcome, how are you today, Freak? Yo, Freak, it's a oh, horror I game, technically. Who has seen the movie? Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. The only thing I don't no! like is the, the the moving of the table. Wait, I think I I've, I've, I've been around that area, but I don't remember. Woo! I think I remember. I've been to the silver something museum. Something silver. Because I don't go. What, how far it's north alive. is that? Because I'm from Florida, bro. I was in Fort Lauderdale. So I used to go to. I went to Daytona Beach. Oh, that's where it was. I think it was in Daytona Beach, right? Oh, I can't remember that. I think it was. I have to check my channel list of videos because I put the title uh, where it's at and what it's, what it's called. Mystery Geneva. I'm playing this on the PS4, bro. It's on there. You can play this on the PS4. Elizabeth? It's alive. Just a normal controller. Uh, and, uh, yeah. You can, you can buy as many machines as you want. So, like, you just get, um, collection. You download it, and then you can, uh, because there's many packs of, like, machines, so, uh, you can buy, a, like, say you don't want to buy every single one, you don't have to, you just buy whatever you want, and then from there, it, uh, a new list will pop up if you see it on there, like a new collection, you can buy those. And um, they have animated ones. Oh, snap. I got Frankenstein's Goal Apprentice. I guess I got so many goals. I don't know what I did. Oh, snap. Multi bolt. I wasn't ready for this. Oh, snap. Hold on. Whoa, bro. Whoa, yeah. Slow your roll. Slow your roll. I wasn't ready. Okay. Snap. Oh, dude. Come on. Wow. 
there's, there's no warning to this one either. Jeez. Yo, what is up, Bill Keys? What's going on? Oh, see, I gotta go to Arizona, bro. Like, how many times a year do you go to Arizona? Because I keep forgetting. Yeah, man. It's literally just uh, the two triggers. And that's it. Oh, and uh, maybe here or there, like, maybe one of them is the machine. Whoever! No! Oh, I oh, wow, really? That was weak. <laughs> Who am I? <laughs> Elizabeth! I used to like um, Popeye or uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. That was where some funny machine used to watch. Because they would be literally like, no! oh my gosh, this is a horrible round. <laughs> they would they would do that too, where they were like, ah. I don't remember, did it? I don't know, I think it might have sang, one, two, three, three, four, three, four, better shut your door. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight, four, six, seven, eight, four, six, seven, eight, four, six, seven, eight, four, whoa. I don't like the, the, it moving it up. I mean, yeah, you want to see better, but then I can't see the bottom half of the board. <sighs> That's the only kind of thing about this. It's like, I can't see the lines the ball to like, set it up with the paddles. <clears throat> That's my only kind of thing. Other than that, it's a fun, it's a fun, uh, rendition. Because I have... What was it? Uh, PS2 ones. I can't remember what they're called. For the pinball collections. Elizabeth! Oh, snap. Oh, thank you. Oh, I lined it up there. Oh, you like the chattering of the teeth sound? That's fun, yeah. And I like how his, I don't know if there's something that's gonna happen when, uh, like, if I, I don't know how to get him to start interacting with the game. Because, like, he looks like he has two arms that can go down. So I have no idea if there's something that'll happen. Because I haven't triggered anything yet with him. So I'm hoping, like, I can get something to go. Like, I, that's what I'm, that's my goal, is to, like, my goal is to get him to do that. <laughs> Popeye. <laughs> it was fun hearing Popeye in Spanish. I don't think I've ever heard Popeye in Spanish. So it was fun hearing him sing it. Because I remember listening to the Barney song in Spanish. And that was funny. Oh crap. It's alive. The no death run for the day. For those who don't know, Mike and Katie, uh, Mike is killer at no death run. He can no death run a bunch of games, not just one. So if you ever want to check out his channel, he does 
He did Contra, Super Contra. Two games that are definitely a challenge. Who am I? Elizabeth? Creature. Geneva. Yeah. death run stuff and leave it there for us to figure out when you're gonna drop it on your channel how dare you bro how dare you we want to see the glorious no death runs on the channel spam them left and right whoa 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 whoa, whoa. what was that did they just drill in his head oh that's so cool oh wait wait, wait. here we go oh snap oh dude there we go i got something okay Oh, boy, he's interacting with the folks. Hey, that's what it was. I'm not paying attention to this board. Okay, that's what it was. Elizabeth! Come to me. Elizabeth! Oh, there he goes again. Oh, dude, that's so cool. I wonder if we get both hands. What will happen? They're like something special. <laughs> so I was like, I'll just wait. So I know you, I know you've been doing like marathon streamings of like back to back on his channel. I was like crazy. I can't, I can't do that. How does he do that? Does he just like leave to the game running? I've seen what was the max five or six. 
because the machines can store up to like six of them, I think. Depending on the machine. Because the later machines started to be more futuristic. And they were like making them more like legit and stuff like that. As far as like the storage space and like utilizing the whole machines, like capture space. Yo, what's up, video game lover? You got mail from somebody? Oh, snap! Who's the mail from, Mike? Who is it? Oh, wait, what did I get? Oh, I got a better score. I got 67 9. 67 9. Triple A. Because I can't. Lord, I want Figure out the life. I might know who it is. Who is it? Is it multiple people or just one? Seriously, bro? That, that was so messed up. Oh! <laughs> I know, bro, like... Okay, I know it's me. I know I sent you something. It's a lie. But... I was just wondering if you got anybody else. Like, How's it going, video game lover? How's your day going? It's a lie. What? Someone's... Oh, snap! I'm the only one? That's not good. You need, you need to... How do I say it without sounding, like, too bad? <laughs> you need to... You need to... Uh... Pip it out. There you go. For amusement only. Well, you can do it. Can you push it a different way? I didn't realize that's so for amusement only. Elizabeth? Oh, they're in Switzerland. I didn't even realize that either. Oh, come on! What a ramp hall! <sighs> that must have been fun though, to see him like, toss the stuff. I wonder if he broke glass before. You know what I mean? Like if a machine malfunctioned, and Frankenstein went crazy, and like started tossing them into the, the glass, Oh, that must have been pure chaos. I wanted to see that. Like, is there any, like, malfunctioning, like, Mar Mary Shelley's Frankenstein breaks glass? Because when you ch he chucks it, he has to chuck it down. But what if he went, Gah! <laughs> That would be fun. Would I, want love lies in a shallow grave. I, would, I would pay to see that, for sure. You know what I mean? I'm not ready! Victor! Who am I? Elizabeth! I came. Victor! Who am I? It's alive. It's alive. Oh. That's it. Oh, dude, that was horrible. Now 
I gotta go watch Mary Shelley's Frankenstein again. <laughs> For sure. I sadly have forgotten most of the movie now. It's been so long since I've seen it. It was back on VHS when I saw it. I don't even know if it's on Blu-ray. Does anybody know if this is on Blu-ray? Because I know they keep releasing stuff. Because, like, I've seen a bunch of movies that I haven't seen in a long time make it to Blu-ray. Or, like, get re-released. Like, a Boyfriend School. Or, uh, One of the Boys. Uh, crap. Yeah. But sadly, what irritates me is people buy up a ton of them, don't actually gonna watch the movie or have it for their collection, and then they sell it for triple the price when they stop running that, you know, uh, Blu-ray. Because they'll see like, oh, that Blu-ray was released. Oh, let me check it out. Two hundred dollars? No. I'm not paying two hundred dollars for a Blu-ray. One Blu-ray or a series. I don't care how limited it is. I can find it on YouTube. Or I can find it somewhere else. Or I can find the VHS and get my VHS player. VCRs are the shit. Ugh. Wait, it's at Best Buy? Oh snap, Wait, what? For real? Is it the Blu-ray DVD combo or is it just the Blu-ray? No way. I am so hyped right now. Stoker's Dracula also? No way! So that's $5 a movie? Even better, bro. Thank you. I am definitely gonna go pick that up. Hell yeah. <laughs> I get Bram Stoker's Dracula. I'm so into that movie collection. Okay, so for the Switch, there is Mario 35. Mario 35 is literally a battle royale. It's free, bro. Free. You just have to have the Nintendo Online, which is 20 bucks, and the internet. And you basically, you can play against people from all around the world. Mario 35 starts you off at level 1-1, and you randomly get switched over to other levels. So even though you might finish 1-1, one, one, you might not go to 1-2, no! you might go to 3-4, 7-8, you don't know what it is, like... I don't even know how many levels they have. It's just like, I'm just shooting off numbers, like, they'll, they'll say, okay, here you go. You're, you're gonna go to... and they do have warp levels, so you can warp back to 1-1 one, one, once you go back to your and start fresh. But it won't, it won't be a guarantee that you go back to 1-2. That's a good game again. Um, they do have these pinball machine collections on the Switch, bro. So if you are in the hankering for a pinball game and you want something just to chill and relax, they are on the Switch. I don't know how much they are on the Switch, but you can buy a pinball separately. So if you don't want to buy the whole collection, you can just buy one and be like, hey, I want to try this out. And the prices range based on the, the license, so this pinball might not be as expensive as, say, Ghostbusters, because they have Ghostbusters on it. Oh, that is so good! So creepy good. But yeah, it's on there. Um, another good one, um, it's like 40 bucks right now, is uh, Cobra Kai. Cobra Kai got released on uh, Blue 
on a video game. So Cobra Kai is released. Snag it before they charge $60 for that crap. It's like 40 bucks right now. Like Best Buy, Amazon. Come to me. Oh crap. And then, um, what else? Let's see. Hey, there's a video game nerd in the chat. What is up, bro? What's going on? Hey, anybody in the chat, if you know any good Switch games that I... Oh, Angry Video Game Nerd. That's another one. Edwin was playing that one. That one's super difficult, but fun. That one made me rage, and I wasn't even playing that game. Oh, yes, Goonies. I forgot about that. Edward Scissorhands. Oh, snap. Yeah, I, I think I have Edward Scissorhands. I gotta double check. I lost it. So I gotta figure out what I lost. Hey, my game. Oh, nice. Good job, bro. Now, I will say Cobra Kai is worth the money. Because you're gonna keep playing that for a while. That's, that's a difficult one. Yeah, I snagged that up. That that one I got before I got a couple other ones because um I knew that one was gonna be one of those little turd scalpers are gonna grab it just to it's sell alive. it for sixty dollars. So I got that one. Um so if you know any other Switch games, help out Freak of Four and like drop some Switch games in here that are awesome and not expensive, like sixty bucks. So that he can uh, build up his Switch collection. Because he's waiting for Jay and Silent Bob. And I'm waiting for Jay and Silent Bob, too. Yeah, there's the, there's a pinball games on the Windows collection. Um, shoot, it's on Steam or on uh, like emulators. So you gotta go find the emulators. Because there's a bunch of old school pinball games that you can emulate also. So like... Uh, there's a bunch of pinball games on, um, like the Lynx, Atari Lynx, uh, the Atari, there's a pinball game, <laughs> yeah, um, Atari 2600 is a pinball game, there's a bunch of pinball games, like, uh, anywhere you can go. Oh, Space Cadet, I don't know, I have no idea. Oh yeah, Blaster Master, bro. I wonder why he suggested that. Maybe it's because he's all into the Blaster Master. No! Don't worry, sir. You're well guarded. Whoa, wait, what happened? Nothing! Did... Did they release the ball oh, and I wasn't I ready for it? Lies in a shallow grave. Master is a good game. I don't like to play, but I like to watch other people play. There's certain games that I don't like to play. I just like watching other people play. It's alive. Alive! I hate mystery. Right the sky! Oh, I was like, is it stuck? <laughs> it's in a, a virtual pinball machine. Why is it freaking stuck? Oh, Cuphead. I am not gonna buy it again. I already bought it digitally for the Xbox. So I'm not gonna buy it again. <sighs> but Cuphead's good. I'm just waiting for them to like release the second one and then release the collection on actual physical cards. So I can get it. Outlast on the Switch now, bro. Uh, if you can find the collection. It's a good game to play. Mystery. I like it portable. I don't have it on Switch, but I do have it on PS4. It's alive. It's alive. And 
there's a bunch of limited run games that are already out at Best Buy. Uh, I don't know if you know that. Uh, Frieza 4. A lot of the limited run games are at Best Buy. Best Buy made a deal with Limited Run to get a bunch of new Switch games uh, added to their collection so that they could have a different game to sell. And be a little bit different than uh, Walmart. So they sell those too. Geneva. It's alive. Elizabeth? Alive! I came. Yes. Uh, definitely get the membership. Creature. Yes, it's worth it, because you can download the NES games and the Super Nintendo games. So, once you pay the 20 bucks, bro, you can get NES games and Super Nintendo games for... It's alive. Yeah, there's an app, and you just literally just download it, and then they add new games every month. So, right now, there's what, like, 20? 20 or 25... Uh... Games for the NES right now. Hey, Renny Retro, what's up? No worries, bro. I have to had that happen too, where I didn't realize my phone was about to lose all its juice, and then I'm like, hey, everybody, and then I'm like, oh, I didn't say hi to anybody because my phone stopped working while I'm chatting. So it looks like I'm just a horrible person who doesn't want to chat with anybody. <laughs> Or I'm working and all of a sudden I gotta do something. I'm like, really? I just said hi to everybody. And now everybody said hi to me and I, I can't say hi back. <laughs> so don't worry about it, bro. It happens all the time. Yeah, man. So definitely get that. Pick it up for 20 bucks. Buy a card from like, uh, or a code from one of the stores. Download it. Uh, there's two apps the Super Nintendo and the Nintendo. You'll be good, bro. Oh, and you'll have more games added to your collection. So, Super I Mario 35, and that is included with the, the membership. So, even oh, if don't worry, you You're well um, don't buy anything else with it or play online with friends, you at least get the Nintendo and the Super Nintendo games. So, I recommend doing that because. Those are games that you might not have in your collection, because there's a couple of Japanese games, bro. Not even just American, there's some Japanese games that I never played before. And I was like, oh, this is sweet. There's one that was like Minesweep, wasn't it? Minesweep? I think. I forgot the name of it. It literally is, you just gotta figure out the pattern. I forgot the name. But it's a, it's a Mario game. Elizabeth? I hate mystery. Oh, okay. Well, um... Let's see what else there is. There, there is some games that have servers that you need to have the membership for, so if you don't know, check your list and see what things have to be online. So, yeah, like, I play Animal Crossing with friends, and I play, uh, Friday the 13th, so I got the membership for that, so I can play a bunch of those. Fortnite is free, I think that already has dedicated servers, so I didn't have to worry about that one. Million. It's alive. See, I don't like that jump. I hate that jump. That What is up, Arts? What's going on? Yeah, but I say I still pick it up because there's like Japanese titles that you never heard of. Geneva. You never know. Hey. 
Bye. Oh, he's just chilling here playing a pinball game. What's up? Yeah, this is chill mode right now. Geneva. I'm trying something new. I've never played this pinball game. Oh, ha! Ah! The triggery multi ball. Oh, yep, it is. Okay. Yes, I played Devil's Crush, Alien Crush, yeah. I had those on uh, my RetroPie. I played those a couple times. Because I don't think I've ever owned a copy of those. Physical copy. But once I got my RetroPie, I started going through all the games. And I was like, let me just try games that I've never played before. And I saw they had pinball games. I was like, hell yeah. day trial um, for sometimes for like new people I know there's a trial so if they offer that option when you turn on your switch try it out go for it seven days if you don't like it you don't have to do it welcome back no worries don't worry about it we have technology genre or are you just like in general like this book of the year
more fun in in real life to play this game Your name correctly. 
No, that is not the case for everybody's name, but sometimes I do try and get it right the first shot. <laughs> so, I'm glad I got it right. Uh, you can go to PlayStation 4 or Switch or Xbox and then just look up the title uh, in your search bar for your store, whatever system, and you look, uh, and this will be one of the first pinballs that they offer you. So you literally don't have to pay for this one. You can just play it, and if you like it, um, you can get another pinball. There's a couple pinballs that they offer the first time when you pick up the collection that are included, and this is one of them. So after that, there's other ones that you can pay for like a package deal of like three to five or seven like, other pinballs that are always there. So yeah, just the title of the stream, look for it, um, it will be there, and you'll just have to look and see if that's the collection. So when you open it up, don't pay for anything, it'll just open up. And just look at the, it'll like, you can scroll through, All and that, that will be on there. Lies in a shallow grave. You're very welcome. Qua 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 qua! Yeah, bro, so, um, since you're here, Dizzy. I recommend taking Melody's age off of all of her channel, even though you are there with her, take the age off of her channel. So, because before she was six, she was, you know, she's no longer six now, bro. So people are probably still thinking that she's six years old, chilling on the stream, you know. So I recommend taking her age off of anything. If it's on the title of a video, if it's on the, the, the channel, take it off. So that anybody who comes in, it'll be less hard for them to figure out her age. And if they ask her age, don't tell her age on the channel, okay? Now if it's on your channel, you can go ahead and say it, because it's your channel. They see that it's a grown ass man on there, that's cool. But for her channel, if somebody goes, how old are you? Don't, don't say the age. And tell Melody, be like, don't tell him how old you are. Just say, uh, just say you're, you're, uh, you're <laughs> how old in cat years or something like that. Be stupid. Be like, I, I'm this many years in dog years. And then they go, know what the hell's going on. Yeah, because that's, what, that's, that's another reason why I'm pissed off. Because they saw that and they probably thought she was six years old. And I'm like, she's not six years old. But she's been on the channel for a long time, so... People are gonna automatically go, oh, she's sick, oh snap. It's like, screw you guys. Like, people who wanna play video games, leave the people alone. So I'm glad you won the appeal, bro. I'm glad you got your stuff back for her channel. So, we got you, bro. We're a community and we help each other out, man. See, I told you, tweeting, tweeting, and, uh, and, and, Doing all that crap makes YouTube go, Oh, leave me alone. I didn't do nothing. It wasn't me. It was my friend. They made me do it. And then they go, oh, okay, I didn't realize that people liked her. Yes, people like each other. They like to watch each other on the YouTubes. So. Yeah, I learned the hard way. I had people oh, spamming reports of me on my channel to, to mess with me. Because at the time, people know my age now, but at the time they thought I was like, they thought I was like 16 or 17. Using mommy and daddy's money. But that was my favorite comment I ever got. I was like, oh my gosh, are you using mommy and daddy's money to get that PlayStation 4? Like, oh my gosh, like, why are you using mommy and daddy's money? Can I get mommy and daddy's money? I'm like, bro. I hate <laughs> I'm over 21. You can shut the hell up. I went to work and I earned this money to get my PlayStation 4. <laughs> hey, Peter, what's going on? <laughs> oh, snap. Yeah, what happened was, Peter, you were not in the chat. Um... 
basically Dizzy and Melody got their channel uh, reported because they thought uh, Melody was by herself on stream and she wasn't, they were just fixing audio issues and they mass reported the crap out of her channel. So I had tweeted out, you know, YouTube, they own the channel and I, and I tagged uh, Dizzy's wife, Jojo. And I put on there, you know, that they own the channel. It was just an audio issue. He stepped away for five minutes. Then they got mass reported for a little girl being on the channel. And it was, no, she was just there trying to keep the stream going while they figured out the audio issues. And then I came back to uh, seeing a message because like, the thing flipped off. So I clicked on it, thought it was my internet or something had happened. And it said, YouTuber under violation of YouTube guidelines taken down and I was like hell no so I tweeted it out I told Dizzy what to do because I was like you can appeal this and you can tell them it's my channel I'm I'm just having her name on it and everything like that and we won bro they got it back so I was just letting him know you know that I've been mass recorded too because they everybody I thought I was uh, 16 years old and I'm living off of mommy and daddy's money I need me some mommy and daddy's money now, so they stopped paying for my bills a long time ago. <laughs> but it, it's fun when people assume. I love assumptions of people. Like, I love those YouTube channels uh, that do assumptions of me. What are your assumptions of me? And it's always like, oh, you have an easy life. Like, because all the, all the YouTubers that, that are uh, on there, you have an easy life, everything like that. Then I've seen my comments say that. Oh, it's so easy for you. It's so easy for you. I'm like, bro, nobody has it easy. I mean, come on. I get questioned all the time when I play a video game. Is it really you playing? Is it really you playing? Is, is your boyfriend in the background playing for you? Who's playing for you? Uh, no! I want to see your controller. Can I see your controller? Here's my controller. Read between the lines. <laughs> you know? Yes. And that's basically what I get on the daily. So, nobody has it easy in life when it comes to, like, YouTube and stuff like that. Everybody gets reported for something stupid. You know, there's always some, you know, like, YouTube police that think that they need to tell everybody how to run YouTube and what to do. And, oh, oh, you hurt my feelings. Oh. Oh, I used to love this YouTuber, and now I'm going to be a hater so bad, and I'm going to mess with their channel. I'm going to mass flag it. I'm going to do this. Oh, I don't believe that that person should be on YouTube. How dare they? Yo, if they're not hurting anybody, and they're not lying, you know, who cares? If somebody wants to donate to that channel, good for them. It's their money. If they want to spend money, even if they're flat broke, that's on them. They can do whatever they want, you know? Now, I will say, I learned the hard way. I used to donate to a lot of YouTubers who I don't donate to anymore. That if you donate to a video series or a, sh or a stream or a video game that you want specifically seen on their channel, don't expect that. Fair warning. They might not like the video game, they might play it on the side, and don't play it. So, don't donate to a specific thing, no! donate for like better equipment. Like, if, if they say they're gonna get better equipment, okay, yeah, sure, what do you need, a better camera? Cool. But if they're gonna say, oh yeah, donate to watch me rage, or donate to watch me do this, they're not gonna do that. They're gonna take the money, and they're gonna run, and they're gonna play a game that they really wanna play. All that I want love lies in a shallow grave. Yo, Wolfpack, what's up? What's going on? Welcome. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I agree, Dizzy. Like, they think that you're playing and that she's just going... No, she's legit playing. She knows how to play. She knows how to describe the video game. She knows what she's doing. You know? She knows where she's going. And you can tell, I'm being real, you can tell when somebody else is playing. Uh, there's a speedrunner who is a fake speedrunner, and I can tell when he's not really playing. Because, um, who was it? There was a... I forgot the channel name. It's, just, it's in Spanish. And he was eating pizza! He was eating pizza. And I was like, this is the worst speed run I've ever seen in my life. No death run. 
I've never seen any more ridiculous stupidity in my life than him going, oh, I'm gonna play this game. Oh look, I'm gonna drink a soda while I play this game. It's so easy. And I'm like, bro, you're not even playing it. Because I saw the controller character move before you went and grabbed the controller. So I know you're faking this this no death run right now. I'm not ready. Somebody else played it for you. And you're just sitting there going, ha 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 ha. So that was my favorite, like, fake no death run. I was just like, how can you, like, legit think that he he was going to be passable in the community? Especially retro games. I can see a modern game. Like, you can get away with that shit because modern games are a little bit easier to fake. But a retro fucking game? You can't get away with that. Because the character moves, and even with the lag, there's still, like, a specific thing. Because somebody will go, and go okay, what are you playing on? Okay, original hardware? Okay, that lag shouldn't be like that. <laughs> that should not have that lag that fast because people have timed it to call out fake people. And they have timed it. They know the patterns for emulators, they know the patterns for original hardware, they know the patterns for if you're gonna play it on, you know, like a clone system. They know that. They know the lag time. So you can't be over here. Hmm. Hey G status, what's going on? Thank you. What the hell happened? Wait, hold on. Peter, why did your, your uh, message get deleted? No, 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 no. Peter's joking, bro. Dizzy, dizzy. Peter's joking, bro. Peter, are you still here? No, Dizzy, he's cool, he's cool. He was joking, he's got two daughters, bro. And a wife that kick his ass if he really All meant that. Yeah, man. No, no, no. He's good. He's good, Dizzy. He's good. He's a, he's a G. He's a homie. He's a homie. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. His wife would kick his ass. Or his sister. His sister would kick his ass, too. <laughs> his sister don't play. <laughs> I've seen his sister. Yeah, she don't play. Yeah, man. No, no, no. It's all good, Dizzy. Thank you for helping me out, bro. Oh, no. You're good. You're good. I'm glad you're hanging in there. See, I like my mods, man. They're good. Yeah, you're good, Dizzy. Thank you for helping me out, man. Yo, Captain Retro, what's going on? Welcome, bro. What's up? Oh yeah, and then one of the best ones, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. I'm enjoying this pinball. I've never played it before. I wanted a chill day, and I was like, what can I play? And I was like, what can I play that's not going to be distracting and I can just chill? And I was like, hell yeah, I'll play this. And now I'm going to go watch uh, Mary Shelley's uh, Frankenstein. And level one online helped me out, bro, and got me the, like, word to get it. So I'm gonna go watch it. Anything but Fortnite? Why are you all messing with me in my Fortnite, bro? Come on, man. Come on. Oh, yeah. You know what it is? Captain Retro hears the keys and the triggers, and hears a little ding, 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 ding. He goes... Smell pinball in the air. Where is it? And he like investigates the YouTube channels. He's like, somebody's playing pinball. Where? Where is it? And then he goes, da -da -da -da! Captain Retro. And he shows up and he's like, I'm. No! <laughs> no, 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 no. It's all good. It's all good. 
No, it's all good. Yo, Peter, Fuck. next time you're um you're saying something, put JK or LOL or put Linda got me or something because I'm being real, bro. Like, like everybody in the community wants to protect me because I've been getting a lot of trolls lately and people messing with me. It's been really bad lately, so they're helping me out. But no worries, bro. It's all good. I I, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's all good, bro. It's all good. Ah, oh, saved it. Okay. Dude, really? Yeah, for sure. No, it's all good. It's all good because you said make a sandwich. <laughs> I was like, oh snap, that's why I got reported. <laughs> Don't worry, sir. you're well guarded. <laughs> oh, wolf pack. Don't oh. worry, sir. you're well really guarded. Game. I hate when it does that to me, man. They don't even tell me to be prepared. Yeah, man. So, let's see if we can get Frankenstein to interact with the, with the ward again. Let's see if we can get him to uh, get the multi ball. So let's, let's keep shooting it into that little, little uh, cubby. And let's see if we can get the multi ball. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Trolls movie. Me, I prefer gremlins. I'm on gremlins. Let's start calling them gremlins. <laughs> Anytime a troll gets into my chat, call him a gremlin, so they don't know what we're saying. How about that? Start calling them gremlins. All the trolls that come in, call them gremlins. Yeah. We'll do that, for sure. Ah. Oh, the... Yeah, you're right, video game nerd. Oh, that movie was horrible. That was a bad round. Let's try this again. Okay, let's try this again. I made it to the high scoreboard. I got this. I got this. There we go. No, dang it. I don't got this. It's such a good movie. Just don't get your girl in any water. You know what I mean? After midnight, you're good, okay? I love me some gremlins, man. I have to watch that movie again. I didn't- you know what? I forgot to watch it this Halloween. I usually watch gremlins, but I watched Adam's Family. And, uh, I watched, uh, a little bit of goosebumps. I wanted to go 90s again. I was like, you know what? This Halloween, since I can't go out and watch new horror films, because I usually try to go to the movie theater for Halloween. I was like, you know what? Let me go 90s this time. Because I normally watch, I watch a bunch of new horror films. And this time I got Netflix, and I just went and watched the, all the 90s stuff back in the day. So I watched a, oh, I set myself up for failure. And I watched a bunch of, like, uh, what you call it? I watched all the 90s horror films, I watched a ton of, like, uh, the, the, I watched The Mist, okay, well I did watch a new series, The Mist, that was from 2017, and that was horrible. I don't know if anybody saw The Mist from the 2017 TV miniseries, that one was not worth my time. I watched it and I was bored, and I laughed hysterically, and I'm not supposed to be laughing hysterically, I was bored. It's supposed to be suspenseful and scary. Because if you've seen The Mist, Stephen King's The Mist, the movie, that scared the crap out of me. That made me intensely go, what the hell? You know? I was like, oh my gosh, creatures are coming out from everywhere. And they're like, sucking the people's brains out. And I was like, oh, this is so good. On so many levels. But... Okay. But, um... Yeah, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't for the life of me watch this one from 2017. It was so bad. And so, I, re 
regretted I regretted watching that one. I did for sure. And if you can hear my dogs in the background, my apologies. They they, they woke up and now they're playing. They run up and down the steps. We have steps in our place. And they get their energy out for a minute before we go take a little walk because they know not to bother me. They give me a minute. They let me be. <laughs> Gremlins, yeah. Oh, Edwin, but I don't think... I don't think anybody really watches those. <laughs> I mean, unless you got a, like a, a kid that wants to watch it. I hate hear the machines and the her all the time so now it's on a different day and different people who are our trash men so he's getting used to them but he's gotten better with all the neighbors and everything like that uh he still barks at one neighbor who has decided he doesn't like us now and wants to be a little turd uh we have a new neighbor who feels he has to be the neighbor police um he's been here forever apparently and uh we need to follow the rules of, uh, you know, whatever he set forth, apparently. There's, uh, apparently rules that I didn't see. No, uh, I didn't know. Apparently, um... Okay, so the rules are he can park in my parking space whenever he feels like it. Because I only have one park. We're, we have, like, multiple parking spots, you know? So apparently he can park wherever he feels like it. You know, we have his kids come over and park wherever. But, uh, no, 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 I can't, I can't block, you know, when he's got his yard people coming in and blocking my spot. Elizabeth? Apparently, you know. Or blocking my place where I gotta put my trash can. So apparently we have to mind his grass. We're in Nevada. He has grass. My, we, you, your dog can right. walk on my grass. And Cares about your grass is dying. So, he decided to yell at a couple neighbors yesterday. And I heard, uh, Reggie heard, the yelling of, like, what? And, I'm, and then I just I just see, like, I know when it's good when Reggie's like, oh, look at this. <laughs> the 
because uh, he was yelling at everybody, you know, about, like, get your dogs off my lawn, yada, yada, yada. Mind you, he has a dog. No! Where's the large logic in that? <laughs> Home Alone, Jingle All the Way, yes, good ones. Beowulf, yeah. Oh, yes! I, I have seen so many people, like, take other people's faces and reface them. I did that, too, when um, I got the Reface app. I, like, refaced myself onto uh, a bunch of movie clips. It's hilarious. I had, a, I had a good time with that. I was like, I, I forgot to tell you I was in this movie. <laughs> it was good time. Oh, I set up the Oh, I forgot about Silent Night. Deadly Night. Silent Night. Deadly Night. You get hacked. You get slashed. Times you won't remember where your hand is. But you must find it in the library. Heck yeah, man. We'll see what happens. Ice cave. Ice cave. Mystery. Geneva. Okay, here we go. Multi ball. See how long this multi ball lasts. <laughs> that was so fast. <laughs> Oh wait, they gave me one back, okay. They were being kind. They're like, you lost the multiball so fast, let's just give it back to you. Oh, I got jackpot? Sweet, what did I get? Woo, 20 million! I finally got the jackpot! Finally got it. <laughs> Thank you. I can ad lib songs sometimes. It just takes me a minute, but if I'm in a good mood and like I got like a good lyric going, I'll keep it going. But thank you. Who am I? Who am I? Six million. Here we go. Four million. I don't know if he needs to bring four million. We'll see what happens. I've seen it being 
But you never know, I might be losing a staple because uh, Peanuts, Snoopy, Charlie Brown, they kind of like took that away. So. Yeah. It's kind of like uh, watching Hocus Pocus 50 million times on Halloween. It never goes away. Elvis, what you doing, Bubba? Elvis! I'm trying to get Elvis to come over here on where he is. In my, uh, my place. Uh, oh, he's in the back, chilling. No! Could I leave the door open for him to uh, go to the bathroom? Because, uh, since he can't bother me, he needs to go to the bathroom. It's alive. Dang. That's it. I like Charlie Brown, but I'm not like super upset about it. Like I'm like, oh okay, they got rid of it. Well, not a first time. But I'm so used to it. It, it was it was a surprise to me that they did that. I'm so used to being on, on CBS or whatever channel, or CBS, all the time for every year, and this is like the first time I was like, oh snap, it's not there. So I was like, oh dang, whatever, you know. Because I know my family has it on multiple, like they have it on VHS, DVD, Blu-ray, so it wasn't like they didn't get to see it. They just popped in, you know, whether their DVD watch it so how do I say it like it wasn't it wasn't like a horrible loss because many people have it so. but it was just people that normally watch it on TV they just had to pop it in DVD instead come on Watch this wonderful life around Christmas. I watch all the Scrooge movies, I, every version of Scrooge you could think of. I watch that. I like Scrooge, and I like the Christmas story, you know. So I watch I watch that all the time. Christmas is real. As old as time. Tales old as time. Song is old as rhyme. Scrooge. Multiple times. Oh yeah, I'll watch, I'll watch that. Uh, Bill Murray Scrooge, uh, shoot, yeah, Luffy Goldberg, <laughs> I think like almost every single actor or actress made a Scrooge movie <laughs> back in the 90s. Scrooge movies though, it's like, and then they keep making them. 
So like they'll make one for like every year. Like this actor or actress is gonna be Scrooge. Mystery. Oh, you gotta definitely watch it, Edwin. Find Scrooge. So type in Scrooge on your search bar on Google, and you'll see like 16 million different kinds of Scrooges that was made. For sure. Check out at least one. Check out Bill Murray. Um, his Scrooge. Or what was the other one? There was uh there's a or, or you can watch with M uh with your daughter, um what's it called? Uh Scrooge A Christmas Tale. It's with uh, Mickey. Mickey and uh you know Donald and uh, Goofy. I forgot the name, I think it's just a Christmas Tale, if I remember correctly. But it's it's a. Uh, got Mickey in it, and it's a good one. It's an animated one. I forgot what year it came out. But it's definitely worth a, a watch with the family. Cute little tale. Wizard of Oz is good, but watch the one from the Michael Jackson. Movie. That one's better. Okay, thank you. I forgot what it was called, because they had so many Scrooge, you know, um, versions out. Like, it was ridiculous. DuckTales. I got all these, like, theme songs stuck in my head now. <laughs> like, I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna Ninja Turtles. Yes, it's the same sweet. I'm going. Alive! Alive! Ice cake. Ice cake. Five million. We can't yell until six million. We gotta, we gotta yell at six million. Shoot the North Pole. I don't remember where the North Pole is. Is that where Santa is? Santa Claus. I gotta say, like, Nightmare on, on uh, Christmas, you know? Nightmare Before Christmas, I gotta say it's that. Alive. Like, Santa Claus? Pink Floyd, oh snap. Pink Floyd's the wall, bringing it back. Whoa, there we go. There we go. It's Save him again, thank you. Collect the body parts. Oh, this is a new one. I don't remember the collect the body parts. Okay, let's try to collect the body parts. Here we go. Oh, I got the arm. Sweet, okay. Um, I don't know where the other part is. Where's the head? I hope it's not a timed event. Okay, should I collect anything else? Graveyard. Oh, I got the head. Sweet. <laughs> I was just saying I want the head. Okay, where's uh, where's the the legs and the other arm? Okay, I'll probably go up the ramp. Oh, saved it. Thank you. Oh, what did I get? Extra ball. Woo! Yes. Oh, that was a good score. Oh, it's almost 666. How dare they? Extra ball. 
Thundercasts, they ruined Powerpuff Girls. Like the newest season of uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles throws me off. I don't know why. I, I think. Route. Whoa, we're still going? 15 million! This is like a great run, man. Dude, oh, sweet! Multi ball! Ah, oh, that one was a tail. Terrible epic fail. <laughs> sweet! There we go. Oh, he thought he must have had thought he had a something in his hands to, to throw at me. Thunder, 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 cats! Oh. Sniff, sniff, snarf, snarf. He was my favorite character. Sniff, sniff, snarf, snarf. You know who that is. You get epic points. Well, not all the time, though, do they, they ruin reboots. There's a couple times that I've, like, watched a reboot, and it was pretty good. A remake or a reboot. It's very rare, but it's only been a couple times that I've, like, seen something. Did I get it? That is like the best score I've had. 909, 506, 360. Oh snaps are us. That is like the best score I've had. Watch the TV. Heck yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying though. Like. I don't understand it either, why they picked Powerpuff Girls to reboot. Most of the time, you need to give it like a, like, a couple decades, for sure. Like, I don't mind if they try to remake or reboot a movie from the 60s or the 70s, because I know nobody really watched it back in the day. Like, they're not like us, where we watch old school movies. I got you on that. I almost had it! I almost had it. That was a good run. But that, that's what I'm saying, like, we are in a regurgitating industry now, where literally all the movies I see are from the 90s. Like, they've run out of ideas, I guess. They've taken movies, ideas, and just run with it, you know? 
That's all they do. Because... Yeah, I know it's game over. Give me a minute. I'm drinking my soda and talking to my friends. And, um... They do that all the time. Where they, uh... They, they basically keep removing, like, oh, let's take out this part of the name and it'll be brand new. Nobody will know about it. But yet, us, we know about it. The kids don't. It's like, nah, I'm good. Whew! I don't know if I... Let's try to see if I can get a billion. One billion. One million. Watch my horrible run. I'm gonna have a horrible run. Watch. <laughs> Go. I'm actually getting the, the board now, I'm figuring it out. So. I hate. Hi, Millie. Not bad. Who am I? There we it's go. Right. Save that. They, they try to replicate success, but what I'm saying is there's plenty of stuff that they don't need to replicate to make more money. There's plenty of good books out there that they could use the idea from. Make a movie. But they don't. They don't take the indie artists at all. It's okay. If they remake one of the boys, I don't know how that would work. Or Boyfriend School, I think they remade that one, didn't they? I think they did. It's alive. It's alive. I don't know off the top of my head. All I know is they uh, they refer to it as Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. But I don't know if like if they were saying if they say like Ma Mary from Shelley's Frankenstein monster, I don't know. I'm not ready! I have no idea on that. I know whenever we talk about Bram Stoker's Dracula, we always say Bram Stoker. There we go. Save the ball! It's on a Bluetooth speaker. Dope. Turn it up to 11 like Freak of 4 does. Turn it up to 11. Ha! I'm on the stereo. I'm on the stereo. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. I came. It's a lot. I came. I'm going to yell at you. Who am I? No, save 
save it. There we go. Elizabeth. Nice. I want the multi ball. There we go. Oh, nice. One more. Come on. Give me ball, D ball. Oh. Oh wait, are you asking as a question or is that a statement, Peter? <laughs> he has the makeup. It's up to a hundred. I can't feel it. I need to feel the music. Bo 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 bo. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Because it's hard to tell with the chat if you're asking a question. Or no, sometimes horror films do really well because people want to see people get murdered. <laughs> They're like, well, I had a better day than them. <laughs> I, at least my arm didn't get chopped off and fed to the wolves. No! So, always depends on the day. <laughs> Here we go. Ten million. There we go. Oh wait. Dang, I forgot. Extra ball is lit. Extra ball is lit. But where is it? I don't remember where it is on the board. Dang. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, horror does really well, comedy does really well. Because they're like, well, at least I have both my eyeballs today. What's that about? The whaling? After this, you need to bump Ninja. Ninja. Rap. Ninja. Ninja. Rap. <laughs> I'm not gonna play the whole song in my head. Because I know I'll get flagged for singing the rest of the song because Vanilla Ice will take my money. So they don't get from YouTube. They'll take my two pennies. Go ninja, go ninja, go! Go ninja, go ninja, go! Boom, boom, boom. Ninja. 
ninja, rap, ninja, ninja, rap, bum, 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 go ninja, go ninja, go, go ninja, go ninja, go, go ninja, go ninja, go. Dude, that was a good killer snap. Wait, what did I miss, Peter? Oh, snap. Oh, are you saying I missed something? <laughs> okay. I confirm. Dizzy now has to because Linda said so. So Dizzy, I now confirm that you definitely need to watch it, okay? So good luck with that. Hell to the yeah. <laughs> Outnumbered. Distracted me. What? What, Prince? 
You want to say hi to the cat? Jojo, you can do an upload speed check on your AT&T to see where you're at. So you want to be above 10 um, for sure on your upload, like do an upload check um, for like your, your rate. Like do a stream check on your AT&T, like uh, I'm not ready. with your internet, go to Wi-Fi, and then with your phone do a, a stream test no! to see where your, your rate is at. And if your rate is above, like... You don't want to be below 5. If you're below 5, you're screwed. But, uh, you want to be around like 7 to 10, depending on what you check. Is at, but you, want, you want it to stay good. Woo, save that one. Yeah, because I used to have AT&T. And they lie. Or the landlord, if you have the landlord, has to upgrade the box every four to five years and they don't do that because they don't want them to go in there and mess with their stuff i had it out with my landlord one day because i didn't want comcast anymore comcast was in my building i didn't want it nobody would go to my building because i guess my landlord was a little turd and i found out the hard way in my old place in florida I was like, well, I don't want Comcast, what can I get? I got AT&T for a little bit, and they lied. They they said, oh, yeah, it's great, you can, you can have multiple devices, and you can play, and you can do this, you can stream, you can do that. I was like, okay, sweet. Because Comcast was not helping me. Comcast was don't like, worry, super sir. slow. Well so I guess we all share the same box. Hey, my name. And I was having the times that I'm I wanted ready. to stream. I was having horrible, like, glitches. Reading correctly, and I said, "Screw it." And then AT and T was like, "Yeah, you're gonna have a great time." And then they got there, and they're like, "Okay, we need to upgrade the box." And then my landlord was like, "No, you're not doing anything. You can't do that. I'm not ready. Get out of here. Don't be my partner." And I was like, "Screw you, dude!" And we left. We moved out <laughs> after that. I, like, I can't work. I can't stream. I can't do what I need to. I'm not gonna be able to pay the bills. All that I once loved lies in a shallow grave. Oh, nice! Welcome back, Chris James! <laughs> hey, spirit! Back up, bro! I'm not having that! Step! Let's go! Step! What's up? What's up? You can't see this! You can't see this! What? Thought. Don't make me get. I will get mom. Don't make me Charles. Don't make me get dad. Don't make me Charles. I will get auntie. Who will give you a bunny suit? Okay. If you missed it, spirit, we were talking about Christmas story. <laughs> so I was thinking about the mom and dad from the Christmas story. How's it going, Spirit? Don't worry, sir. You're well Wow! Guarded. Look what you did, Spirit! You made me mess up! <laughs> oh, you're the best! Oh, you're the best! So, um... You just challenged me. So... When I end up going to Midwest Gaming Classic, you're gonna have to go. And we're gonna have to do a challenge. No ifs, ands, or buts. Everybody in the chat can confirm that you just challenged me to a pinball challenge. I don't care what machine, I don't care the time or the place. Midwest Gaming Classic, if it happens, you're going down! 
I'm yelling timber. Somebody's gonna have to hold me back. Front. Front. I will get my homegirl shopping network attire on and I will drop kick you into the next universe. That would be so funny if somebody named Elizabeth would show up in the chat. <laughs> Elizabeth! <laughs> Who am I? Elizabeth! Oh snap. <laughs> What? Oh, it is on like Donkey Kong, bro. I am not playing. Midwest Gaming Classic Captain. You're going down. You're going down. I'm not playing. <laughs> it's supposed to be the least intimidating ever on purpose. Don't worry, sir. You're welcome. Have you seen little mouses try to be intimidating? It's funny. <laughs> And plus, Furry is my bro. Like, I can't be intimidating. Because, you know, I just can't. When you got family in the chat, you can't be intimidating. Because it's just not working. Because I don't want to make him mad. Because he's going down. Can't see this. <laughs> Yo! Video Game Destiny is in the chat. Wait, your name is Elizabeth? What? What's going on? Bam! You're not ready, Spirit, though. You're not ready. You're going down. Midwest Gaming Classic. I hope it happens. I hope we get to see your defeat. <laughs> That's horrible. I thought we were talking smack and losing horribly bad. I'm not gonna talk about that. Let's not talk about that at all. <laughs> okay, <laughs> back to the, the machine. Let's play some. Let's play some simple. Intimidating tech, like I just can't talk and smack talk at the same time. <laughs> I hope you guys are all enjoying this. <laughs> oh man. Woo. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm horrible. Okay. I'm bright. 
I'm crying. That's all about to laugh. Feet. Okay, I need to stop. <laughs> that was bad. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my gosh. What did you have? Chili fries? How dare you have chili fries? Not sure. You should always bring extra chili fries just for us. Because those are bomb. Where's my chili fries? So when I win, you're gonna go buy me some chili fries, right? Okay. Right? Woo! That was a good laugh. Who am I? No! Maybe. There we go. Oh, nice. It went. There we go. Tamales! No, tamales y huevos rancheros y calabacitas. Um... No! No, I'm hungry. Now you guys made me all hungry. <laughs> I want some chili fries, man. <laughs> All this food talk and nobody's giving me any food. How dare you? Don't worry, sir. You're well guarded. I love how the game's like, you did so horrible. Here, here's the ball back. <laughs> Who am I? Who am I? I? Mystery. What? Creature. What? Mind blown, Wolfpack. <laughs> Mind blown. Oh my gosh. Thought of it like that. <laughs> that is a good one. <laughs> Bruch. That is too funny. Geneva. Ooh. That sounds good. You know what I need? I need some bomb chili fries that have like chorizo. But you gotta say like Rachel Ray. You can't say it the proper way. You gotta say chorizo. Chorizo, okay? Don't say it the proper way. All my Mexican, Latin, Cuban, Puerto Rican, any of my friends, if you're in the chat and you know how to say it the proper way, that's not allowed. You gotta say it the Rachel Ray way. The Rachel. Ray, Ray, is it say chorizo? Okay. Chorizo is bomb. Oh, we should just throw a party in the middle of the street with all my kids. We could have Melody. Oh, Dizzy! I have like a hundred kids now. I don't know if you were in the chat when that happened. Edwin, I got a hundred kids now. Lies in a shallow grave. Yeah, Chris James, I know. I'll definitely, if I ever could, start traveling again. I miss traveling. That's the one thing I miss. Like, I, I miss being able to just like, okay, where do I want to go this year? I always do like one major trip with my vacation time that I have. Because my job gives me a, a week of vacation, so. I'm like, where do I want to go? And so like, I always think of like, where can I go, what can I do? Like anything, and so I always try to figure out like what major place do I want to go to. And so I was like, well, wherever I can figure out, I'll go. And then this happened, so I just took my vacation just to go visit family. They used to always go visit the family every like six months, or when I could. but now with everything going on, I was like, I'll just uh, I'll take my week vacation so that if I get quarantined, no! at least I won't lose too much work. Yeah, I know, like, that's, that's the problem, like, being able to visit family outside without being, like, quarantined for two months without being able to go anywhere. That's the one thing I hate. It's alive. Bam! I'm not ready! Ooh, I didn't know they put it on pizza? Where? My Where is it? Oh, like, I want some. I want some. Where? Millions! Millions! 
million, 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 six million, million. six million, million, eight million. <gasps> Gotta yell it. Rachel Ray uses it a lot in her cooking, and she always goes, Chorizo! <laughs> the first time I heard it, I was with my Nana, and we, we like to watch cooking shows because I used to work uh, weird hours when I had my job in Colorado. And so I would be chilling at home with her, and we would watch like Little House on the Prairie, and we would watch something else, like uh, Walton's. Then we would jump over to like uh, some of the talk shows, we'd watch Rachel Ray. And see what she was cooking on Food Network or whatever. And uh, the first time we heard her say chorizo, I was like, <laughs> my nana looked at me and then she went, is she serious? <laughs> I was like, yeah, she's serious. I <laughs> wish she's saying it's someone, right? <laughs> and then my nana went, e ba bear, ba bear, comer, comer. <laughs> And then my aunt walks in and goes, what are you guys doing? And then she goes, ba bear, ba bear, comer, comer. And then my my aunt was like, no, mom, that's not how you say it. This is like, I can't right now. Oh, Alive. Oh, that was funny. Oh, I just loved it. Alive. Oh, that was a good time. Yeah, no, it's really cool. Like, I was, like, looking through, like, all the, the machines that they had available for the pack that you got. And, um, I tried to, because, like, some of the packs are a little expensive. Like, uh, some of the machines are not, like, super cheap. So, like, I don't want to buy super expensive ones if I don't like the machine. You know, like, you can't, the only way to try it is if you, if you pay for it. So, like, let me just try this one. It's alive. I liked it. I was like, okay, cool. So, I'll see if, like, I'll go with movie franchises that I know and like, or, like, uh, TV shows that I like, or whatever. And then from there, I'll try machines that I've never tried before, see so what happens. We'll go from there. Oh, yeah, it's really good. <clears throat> Chili Verde. Yep. Oh, okay. Life That's not bad. Score. Not bad at all. Oh, you have a texture thing. Well, how do I say it? It's like it's not super. Um, you could. Well, I don't know. Like you, it does. If you if you if you cut it up, it has a different texture. So it depends on how you cook the chorizo. Chorizo, not, not, you can't, you can't say it properly. Rachel Ray has taught me how to say it the proper way. Um, but you can, you could try it. Just, just buy a pack of like, they have them in, well, I don't know where you are right now. I know you're in Florida, right, Fleet Freak? You're still in Florida, right? Oh, turkey bacon. Mm. I don't mind turkey. I don't mind if it's like a turkey burger or something like that. Because I'll I'll uh, add stuff to it. Because turkey doesn't really have that much flavor, so I'll I'll add stuff to it. 
<laughs> okay, let's try again. I wanna get one billion if I can. I tried this one time. I'm not ready! Oh, the hell was horrible. Machine heard me. Yeah, my Nana used to make it all the time. It's great with eggs. It's great with, uh... You know, like a burrito. I am doing so horrible right now. I don't know why. Me. I should have wanted to get one billion. The machine was like, hell no, you're not getting one billion. You don't deserve one billion. Geneva. Oh well. Oh well. Wait a minute, Mr. Machine. Why are you so mean? Oh, please, Mr. Machine, give me a billion. I don't know. Still in Florida, okay. Where Hell yeah. I? What part of Florida are you in now? I remember you moved, but I don't know where you went to. No! Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, if, if you're still in Florida, free, you can find it. It's it's around. It's not like everywhere. You just gotta go to like the Mexican Isle. If it's in like a white store, they have a Mexican aisle, which makes me laugh. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> turkey bacon. It's the uh, turkey. Ground up to look like bacon. <laughs> Ooh. I laughed so much and I Who's cried that? and I just like ruined my voice. Yeah, yeah. So that's not happening. Oh, snaps are us. Chris James, we're all gonna be there. Chris James, be cooking some barbecue all the time. I'm so jealous. Who am I? <sighs> that was horrible. Nothing. All I know is, is uh, we have a no fire ordinance right now. We haven't had rain in like 200, 200 days or something like that. So I can't be barbecuing with an open flame. Like if I have electric one, but hell no. I just want to buy a little cheap thing. What? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? All that I once loved lies in a shallow <laughs> grave. <laughs> What? Oh, that's blasphemy. To be saying that you're gonna ground it up, we're back. Ice cake. Ice cake. That's five billion. You can't yell that. It's five billion. Geneva. We gotta wait till six. Six million. Hmm. 
Oh, here we go. Am I supposed to be protecting him? Or like throwing something at him? I never know if like I'm him. Or if I'm the, the crowd that's attacking him. So that's one thing I would like. I wonder if like there's like a manual or Somebody's played this and knows exactly what this I means. I hate mystery. Creature. Oh, snap. Creature, feature. Yeah, no, I don't mind lurking turkeys at all. I don't have a problem with 
Uh, I'm cool with it. Even you just watching for five minutes? Some people hate it. Some people are like, oh my gosh, you were here for five seconds. You gave me a like and you walked away. I'm so mad. It's like, no. You gave me a like. You stayed for five minutes. That's five minutes of extra watch time that I didn't have. I'll take it. <clears throat> it means that you care enough to show up for five seconds. Give me a like. Say hi. I can't stay. At least you saw the notification that tells me the notifications are working. Not everybody gets them. And that helps with the algorithm. Even if it's five minutes of watch time and you gave me a like, it helps with the algorithm. More people see the stream, more people want to talk to you. But if, if they're just chilling and watching, that's still good too. Nothing. Yeah, yeah. Cause sometimes, depending on the game, people just want to watch. They just want to chill and watch and like, like a story driven yeah. game, I get that a lot where people just want to watch, see what's going to happen next. And then um, like a in hey, interactive hey, game. They're more shocked and they want to talk about it. Ooh, save that one. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Who am I? Oh yeah, for sure. Lies in a shallow grave. Oh no, it's okay. Like, yesterday, last, no, not yesterday, but last I Saturday, I played a game that I didn't even realize was going to be that short of a game. It was, it was a game that I thought, oh, I'm going to get maybe three or four hours of gameplay out of it. It was like two hours, bro. Not even. <laughs> it was like an hour and 45 minutes of gameplay. So I played that thing, and I platinumed it. It was called Erica. I platinum that game because I was like, well, if you're only a couple hours and I spent a few bucks, I'm gonna get my money's worth. So I played every scenario. I got every ending. I tried every which way what would happen. And I got my platinum. And I was like, hell yeah. I got my money's worth. Because <laughs> I was like, two hours of gameplay or less. It's definitely an indie game. Hey Matthew, what's going on? Welcome. Oh, dude. Green screen. Then green screen. <laughs> Why? Why do we need to do that? How's it going? How are you? Hope you enjoy the video. The game that I'm playing. It's a classic. Never gets old. Such classic plans as Who am I? Six million. I'm losing it. Oh my gosh, I'm yelling so much that I'm like pretty my throat. <laughs> oh man, my voice is going. It's gone. It's so funny. Oh well. Six million. <laughs> oh well. What happened? No! Hope everybody's doing good and you're enjoying the game. If you like this, give it a thumbs up. Give it an elbow cough. I laughed hysterically when I first saw that the dab was just an elbow cough. Okay, when you look at it. Because somebody put a dab, 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 dab. And then when you saw like somebody's chat because they didn't accept that emoji, it said elbow cough, elbow cough, elbow cough. <laughs> I was just like, that's what they called it. Oh, here we go. Multiball. I got it, sweet.
Dang it, I lost the other one. There we go. Oh snap, I got it a third time. I don't know where the North Pole is. Come to me. Oh wow, how did that happen? Save that, save that, save it. There we go. Nice, okay. Creature! There we go, I got Creature. Second multi-ball. I've never gotten that before. Whoa, that was so cool. Extra ball, yes! Come on, let's keep going. Okay, that was good. I never had an epic multi-ball before. That was fun. Ultimate multi-ball! <laughs> I guess one billion is not going to happen. One billion points will not happen today. Oh well. Iron Fire Gun. One last time. Well guarded. 
<laughs> oh, that's horrible. I go from a good game to like a horrible game. Why? Why me? Why me? Okay. This gets addictive. I'm not lying. This gets addictive. I'm not ready. Like, one more. I'm always. The, I'm that gamer. One more. One more. I'm like diehard gamer. One more. common one because there's a bunch of uncommon symbols that like not many people have asked for. Collect the body parts. Oh, sweet! It's collect the body parts again. Let's see if I can do that this time. Can I collect all the body parts? Graveyard. Okay, got the arm. Let's see if I can get. Them. Oh, that's sad. That's sad. Oh, I don't want to collect all the body parts. <laughs> yeah. For sure. I remember that, like, that was hilarious. Oh, uh, what? You're well guarded. That was sad. That was not good. I can't. You can't yell, it's not it's not six million. We gotta yell at six million. It collides. Oh, really? Nothing. All that I want, love. Oh, okay. Okay. So let's just jump 
again and again and let's do it. Let's do it, ladies and gentlemen. Don't worry, sir. Let's You're not. Well <laughs> wow, that was bad. It's like, we got this. We're gonna be living on this. It's like, it's the best stuff ever. And then, no. Okay, so, can I get that? There we go. Come on. Why didn't you figure? I'm not ready. Hey, Jack! Who am I? I hate mystery. Ball, but I didn't even get to keep the multi ball for now. Ah, come on. Geneva. Double check. You never know with anything anymore. I see a lot of stuff that's All online. That I want love okay. Lies in a shallow grave. okay, this is definitely the final game, everybody. We'll try and see to get. This is our, my last attempt to try I to get. One B. That's <laughs> starting off horrible already. Don't worry, sir. You 
well guarded. Horrible last game. I hate mystery. That's not good. Come on. Uh, yeah, I have. I have it on. Hey, my name. At a convention. It was at a convention. I remember, I forgot, I don't have the pie that can play it. My friend does, and I played it for a second, but uh, that was the wrong one. It was the other one. The one on Genesis. But I did play the one on Sega CD when it was at a convention. All that I want they had it there. Lies that was a horrible one. Grave. He knows Kung Fu. What's that? Yeah, like, I played it for a brief moment, but the one thing, um, when you're at a convention, you don't want to play too long. For me, like, I, don't, I was like, uh, I'm gonna play for a few minutes. Played it. I have seen people play it, though. Like, playthroughs of it. Eli just and me. There's me. That's me. That's me. <laughs> I I'm the one player that goes to every single pinball machine that has my, my initials and go, that's me. You see that score right there? That's me. <laughs> no, I don't do that, but that'd be funny. Here's you. Are you trying to get my high score? Because that's fine. I will. So spirit, that's what I'll do. When I get my high score and I beat you, I'm gonna do that. I'll be like, that's me. That's me. <laughs> oh really? Dude, I hope you get a high, like, not a bad price for it. I hope it's a good one. That's gonna be killer. I can't wait. Yes! Chum Nasty is getting new- Anytime you get a new game, is is so much fun. Freak? I gotta make you laugh right before we gotta go. So, thank you to everybody who chilled with me. I know I played something different, and I liked it. So, hope you enjoyed the stream. I hope everybody had a fun time. And I'm gonna bounce. Uh, let's see, is anybody is anybody streaming right now? Let's see. <laughs> Is anybody streaming now? Let's see. Hmm. Doesn't say anybody streaming right now. But of course, it never tells me really. Thank you guys and gals. I don't see anybody streaming, so I'm just gonna call it no raid today. Oh, you're in a stream? Okay, everybody go to Quesadilla Padilla. Yeah, go to his stream. Dude, go for it. Have fun, everybody. I, he's not streaming right now, so I can't drop a link, but uh, copy and paste his name. He uh, streams Switch games and works at the same time. He does it right. <laughs> he gets paid to stream. Not through YouTube, but his job. He's a smart man. Are you working, sir? Yes, I'm working. Why do you have a controller in your head? What? Oh, I'm testing a prototype. <laughs> so I hope everybody has a great rest of your day. Stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. Keep on gaming.